Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with Nettie from uh, the Mullet Monster Mafia, which we featured today on a, one of our videos um, promoting the re the record Inferno from Otitis Media Records. How you doing, Nettie? Yeah, nice, nice. Really cool talk with you, Ryan. Thanks for for an invitation. Oh, no problem, no problem. I'm a I'm a I, this is the first record I heard that you did, and I'm a huge fan now um, because everybody that knows me knows I love the fast stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like us, man. Like us. We're, all, we're old dudes. We yeah. Know, like fast music. <laughs> yeah. So, so first of all, uh, introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about the company you work for and Mullet Monster Mafia. Okay, my name is Neri. I play drums and Mullet Monster Mafia. Also play drums in other bands here in Brazil. Uh, I'm into the psychobill scene too, having played in other bands like Six Six Sinners, Fanatic Trio. Have a metal punk band too, with Scalpo. You know, busy with a lot of bands. And also have a, a small label here, the Early On Records, and a booking agents. You know, it's like a Mamut project. Mammoth Productions, and all the time we bring a lot of bands to tour in Brazil, organize festivals here, really inside the scene, working a lot for the scene, you know. With um, the Mold Monster Mafia, we formed a band in, in 2009. We started the band in 2009, thinking about the, the possibility to form a band uh, and try to uh, recreate like the, the same feeling of the maybe the people feel in the, when I hear the Dick Dale in the beginning of 60s, you know? Because uh, a lot of bands, a lot of surf bands uh, make more uh, traditional kind of music, more melodies and more this kind of music. And we hear the Dick Dale in, damn man, this sounds really, Tough, you know, it's hard, it's, you know, and all the band sounds, the surf band sounds really soft, really clean, you know, and we came from the metal scene, hardcore scene, and thought, okay, man, why not try to grow in a band and try to bring back the same feeling of the guys feeling here at Dick Dale on the first time in the 60s, you know, because I think it, Think about man in the 60s, if you if you hear Dick Dale at this time, at that time, it's like you hear a death metal. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you think about let's try to make up a powerful surf music. Uh surf music is strong, like a powerful, like a wow sound, and try to make this, you know. And this is the history of Mold Monster Mafia. We formed a band to make this, you know. So there's Along with some of the, the other bands, which I want to talk about that you do, uh, there's there's not only surf um, on this record, but there's elements of, of like you said, psychobilly and punk rock. Um, yes. Who are some of the influences, drumming wise, that, that uh, you kind of looked up to when you put this record together? You say, I want to have this sound. Yeah. Uh, for me, the... I started to play drums at 16 years old, you know, uh, hearing a lot of metal bands, playing a death metal band, and I'm really younger with a double kick and intense music, you know, intense drumming. And after I played punk and hardcore bands, it's a different kind of drumming, but still intense, you know. But when I am a discovery, the psych Billy, this blow my mind. Because yeah. psychobilly is really, it's really the music is more empty, you know, it's not too much things at the same time. You need to play with uh, less things, you know, not too much information. And it's more hard because uh, play more clean and make this more, more intense, you know, it's, it's very, hard hair to, to make, yeah. you know? And this changed my mind. And when start to the Monster Mafia, we, we talked to 
to make this, you know, and try to keep the the, the basis of the surf music and the extra tour of the surf music, but but the intensity of other styles, you now mixing a lot of psychobilly music, a lot of punk music, a lot of hardcore music, metal music in, in the middle of the sound. If you hear the Mullet Monster Mafia, the guitar is completely clean, you know, clear, it's only reverb, no drives, no distortion, but it's fucking heavy. Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, yeah. As this is, is the, the idea. Uh, I play drums in Mullet Monster Mafia, I use the, my cymbals, big cymbals to make a wall of sign, sound to make the music bigger, you know, to make this kind of music, especially. That's uh, that, that's so awesome. I, I'm like, like I said, the first time I heard it, I didn't know what to expect. I saw the Tiki and I saw the, uh, yeah. the kind of, <laughs> I don't know if that was meant for the up down, upside down cross there. <laughs> And uh, I, I looked we, we at talk, it. Uh, the, his yeah. name is the Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I first heard it, I knew, like, just from the artwork, I knew this was going to be kind of like an intense band. Then when I put it on, yeah. I was, I, I listened to it on, on my uh, ride home in the car, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like you guys really nailed the intensity. And I'm like, none of these guitars are distorted, like you said. But it's still very intense, like yes, almost like a yes. like a metal thing. And I love metal, yes. and I I love how you 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 incorporated that because um, to me that's kind of a new sound. I think you you stumbled yeah. onto something new there. I believe in the in the um, as I talk about the surf music. I love surf music. You know, I love adventures, shadows, uh, astronauts, surfer eyes. I love this kind of music. This kind of particular surf style, but for me the the the, the new uh, variations, the new styles is like the the new doors for the kids. Yeah, you know, if you look at a young a young boy, actually hear bands like the 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 Venturi, there's bands like this have a, a sound pure sound for the sixties. Man, it's, it's too many time, you know, it's so far, you know, it's don't, don't have identification with this. We, I think it's important in the bands uh, making a fusion of music and, but different elements in their music to, to make this uh, actual, you know, uh, bring the search music for the, this time, you know, and make this kind of music something, um, man, something Something big, you know, not something like a quadjuvant or something like this, like a soundtrack music. No, no, no. No, we play a lot, we're touring a lot in Europe, uh, a lot, 30, 40 gigs for, for each tour. Wow. And we share the station with uh, Bad Religion, with uh, Guanabats, with Helicopters, with Zeke. We play with uh, grind bands, with crust bands, with death metal bands. We really don't care. You know, we go awesome. to the stage and play like a wow sound, loud, intense, and the, and the, the audience normally getting, wow, what the fuck is this, you know? Yeah, I could totally see that. You like, know? like, like you would fit in very well with those intense bands. No, it's, it's, it's weird. It also, the, the, all the artworks of Mullet Monster Mafia, this one, you know, it's the, the Surfing Goat is the name. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surfing Goat is the name of the seven inch of your release. And when the guy who make the artwork, he asks ask us, what do you, what do you want for the artwork? And we talk, man, we like pentagrams, <laughs> goats, you know, thunders, you know, hell, fire. <laughs> and the guy make, but these in the same design of this one, it's another. Oh, wow. You know? The red devil, you know. The, the devil looks like it's in the shape always. of a pentagram. Yes, yes, you know. Always look. Always uh, the but the this kind of thing because to talk with the other kind of people, you know, not only for the people from the surf music or the no, 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 but this open and talk up, up with 
more 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 quant of people you know it's a uh... It, music is just music. Uh, I think it all can tie together in yes. some way. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. so tell me a little bit about your other bands. You have a metal band and a psychobilly band. So let's start with the psychobilly yes. band. Uh, the Six Six Sinners, I uh, formed the Mulut Monster Mafia in 2009. And Six Six Sinners uh, changed the, drum, the drummer, you know, and the guys, a friend of mine, invite me to, to join the band also in 2009. The Six Six Sinners, I don't know if you know a band called Os Catalépticos. No. You no, know this band? No. Os Catalépticos, uh, for the, uh, the psychobilly scene, for me, is like a slayer for the metal scene. It's like yeah. a Catalépticos <laughs> psychobilly scene. You know? Yeah. <laughs> intense, really fast, really hard. And the two guys who play with me in the Six Six Sinners coming from the Os Catalépticos. Oh, okay. Also, is is a kind of punkabilly, not traditional psychobilly. You know, intense, hard, fast, the same way, but more with psycho elements. You know, I also play in another band, the Frenetic Trio. Frenetic Trio is a kind of death metal psychobilly. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> uh, we use hi hats never. No, I had, <laughs> but double kicking, you know. Yeah, yeah, I heard uh, it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, yeah, and we play a lot here because the cycle scene here in Brazil is really is really strong. You know, we have a festival here. We organize a festival called um, Psycho Carnival, and we made this festival of uh, twenty years. You know, that's that's something you're years. involved with. Yes, yes, I'm organized with Vlad, the singer of uh, Six Six Sinners. I'm on this, you know. I, if I told you in the beginning, we're really involved in the, in the underground scene here. Uh, organizing festivals or releasing albums, playing a lot, touring a lot, and or bringing bands from other countries to touring here. We also, we already bring to Brazil uh, Menor Astroman two or three times. Super Suckers, uh, oh, Ben Cullen from Detroit, uh, Asian Torrance a lot of times, uh, Sean Wheeler and Gisander Schloss from Circle Jerks. Oh, a lot, a lot of a lot of friends, a lot of dudes we've been here. That's uh, that's really cool. Uh, I I love the fact that you put together. Um, a festival or show that that brings bands from other countries that normally wouldn't have the opportunity to come to Brazil. Um, yes, I, I I know there's one in in California, Surf Guitar 101. Um, have you played on that? No, 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 not yet. The Mulu Monster Mafia never played in, in in North America. You should come, man, because I would definitely see yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> That, okay. we, we, we go five times to Europe, but never, never play in North America. Yeah. Is, it, is it tougher? Is it tougher to get into the United States? Yeah, it's hard because uh, all the, the the bureaucracy about the visas and all yeah. these. You know, uh, I have the the tourist visa. For this, I I go to play probably the end of this year. I go with the six six sinners and French Kitty again to CA and probably Arizona in this area. But the two guys who play with me and the Monster Mafia don't have this visa, uh, and it's really hard to get here because you need to pay around uh, two hundred fifty dollars only to book the. The interview, you know, and don't know if it's possible to go or not, you know, it's, yeah. it's hard. And to talk with anyone to United States to help us with the work visa is really expensive. Yeah. You know, and in a small band is done, you know. Yeah. It's hard. So uh, I spoke to uh, Leopoldo from Beaver uh, Brazil. Yeah. And yeah, big he friend of mine. Yeah, he uh, he spoke highly of you, and uh, <laughs> it's good to see you guys work like working side by side. 
uh, for, for the for the yes. cause. And uh, tell me a little bit about your relationship with the underground Reverb Brazil, and just basically in the surf and psychobilly communities. Uh, Leopoldo, uh, Leopoldo is the king here in, in, in Brazil. You know, from surf music, he's inside of this for a long time. Uh, when I, when he formed the, the Mood Monster Mafia, Leopoldo was in the scene for a, for a long time. You know, I felt totally respect with them. And we worked together with a lot of things. We organized some festivals together. We released albums together. We released this one. It's the, um, I don't know if Leopoldo talked with you about this record. Oh, the no. Brazilian Tsunami. We released wow. this. It's a triple CD compilation. Like a. Ah, it looks CD awesome. One, CD2, and CD3 is 63 Brazilian surf bands. Wow. Insane. And I release with my, my label, the Early On Records, with. Reverb Brazil, you know. Oh, very cool. Together. And we work together with a lot of things. And Leopoldo is like a guy who really loves the surf music, you know, work a lot for this. Also, he's a doctor, also have a beer bar, have yeah. a, a lot of, you know. But all the time, he's ready to help bands, to help in the promotion, to, to help in you know, in really working hard for the for the surf scene here. And when we formed the, the Mulud Monster Mafia, it was a little bit weird when we come in the, in the surf scene because uh, a lot of bands playing the traditional surf and it was, it was fucking weird when, when we came with playing really hard and really loud and a lot of people like, what the fuck is this, you know, this, this is not pure surf, this is not surf. <laughs> You know, and Leopoldo was the first guy who sit with us and talk, man, this is awesome. You know, you guys are making something new and this is great. You know, not uh, don't uh, close the doors or talk, ah, this is not surf music, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 it's, no, no, it is. Let's move it on, you know? Nice. He's a, he's a really cool guy, man. He's a really, really cool guy. I remember when the first times, if you talk about bands, uh, Monster Mafia is very, uh, we hear a lot bands from France and Belgium, bands like uh, Hawaii Samurai, Speedball Junior, uh, The Wangs, Andrew Surfers, bands who start to make um, the heavy surf music. It's not so loud like us, it's not so heavy like us. But it's like a one step, you know, to, to come here with these bands. When I talk with Leopold about these bands, no one knows these bands, you know, but Leopold, ah, I know I have the vinyl, boom, boom, boom. Ah, you know, he's <laughs> got, you know, this thing. <laughs> he's a really awesome. cool guy, man. Really cool guy. So you are like Leopoldo, you are so busy making music. Um, which is which is a lot of work writing and recording songs. Um, yeah. How do you have time for a record label? Tell me a little bit about your label and and so maybe some of the bands and what 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 you what is your mission? Ah oh, man, when I when I'm younger, when I um, have a I think a lot of things and make a lot of things, you know. But music is, is my deal. You know, I, I think I maybe play a lot and turn a lot, but this, this is impossible, you know, live by this is, is impossible. For this, I, I make the label, also the booking agents, and it starts to don't uh, live for the music, but by the music, you know? I work with this all the time. For me, uh, wake up. up and work with music 24 hours a day is a big pleasure for me, you know? I'm married, I have two daughters, 14 and 15 years old, and she knows, she knows me, you know? I need to go to tour in Europe and stay there for 45 days playing. I need this, this is my gasoline, you know? 
it, it's hard. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know, organize, especially here in Brazil, because um, we're out of the, the circuit, the main circuits, you know, and for here, here, we come here, the tickets is, is very expensive. It's always, it's hard, you know, but with time, we growing a circuit here. I bring the, the cannibal mosquitoes for friends here, 12 gigs in 14 days. We bring the dirt fuse from Greece. Oh, I love dirty fuse. 11 gigs. Yeah, oh, great, great dudes, man. Great dudes. They, these guys make uh, 11 gigs in 12 days here. Ew, wow. Yes, yes, yeah. we we grow in a, a circuit here and make this happens, you know. Also, we start to make festivals for support scene because I always talk. I believe in every scene need um, one point, you know, to fix that point. Like if you think, if you remember the, the punk rock in in New York, and you have the CBGB. If you talk about the psych bill in England, you have the uh, club foot, the club. And here in South America, we have the festivals. We have the psycho carnival for the psych bill. We have the Primeiro Campeonato Mineiro de Surf. It's a surf festival organized by Leopoldo. You know, this is the, the sustentation of the scene. You know, it's like the basis, you know. And we start to make these and organize this to make something really uh, solid for us and for the bands who came behind us, you know? It's really cool to see um, people who are as passionate as you just give, give everything to the music. Not only do you play it, you help other bands. Uh, you're, a, you're a strong supporter of everybody who, who goes out there and puts their music in, and goes out on a limb. Um, what, is, what is your favorite thing about just being involved in music? Man, I really love it, booking tours. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit freak, but I love the talk of the people and, and booking the gigs and organize all this, you know. I have a uh, 40, 47 years old. Uh, soon, I don't have more too much energy to hit the road and stay all the time on the road driving and playing. And my, my thing will be organizing tours, booking bands, you know, organize festival. I really like this, this deal, you know? Uh, create the opportunity like the, the Dirt Fuse, a really nice band, really, nice dudes from Greece uh, building the opportunity of these guys came to my country in Brazil and touring here and making 11 gigs in 12 days you know and knowing my culture or food drink with us meet my friends and or or people knowing special band coming from Greece you know this is this make me you know yeah <laughs> make me happy very cool yeah and and that's the way it should be um uh, music is a very joyful joyful thing uh yeah. when, when you put your heart into it I talk, I talk with my daughters a lot is it's different you no know? it's a kind of uh it's a special love because you only make and you don't want nothing back you know, it's only a spirit of love, only give, 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 give. You don't need nothing more, you know? Yeah. So um, now um, the obligatory question is where, where do you stand in Brazil when it comes to the pandemic? Uh, are you looking to, to book shows now or do you have to wait? Uh, in 2000, 2021, 2020, we make the Psycho Carnival in February. Uh, right after, I make the, the tour of the toasters. The toasters? The toasters here. Yes. The Scabbing? I hit the road of the toasters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love the that. The road is far. 
yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great dudes, children, nice dudes. And we hit the road here, and the last gig of the toasters, the guys play on Sunday. On Monday, I put the guys on the, the airplane to back home. On Tuesday, the country closed, COVID, blah, 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 and all stop it. I have a more, at this time, I have a eight, eight, eight tours already booked here. I need to cancel all. Wow. All this year with the Psycho Carnival, all, all stop it, all stop it. You know, I live in a small island here in Brazil at the border with, uh, between Sao Paulo and Paraná, near to the south of Brazil. I live in an island with uh, 10,000 people only. And I'm starting to, to cutting grass here with my, my neighbors, you know, <laughs> and make something like this, painting, painting walls to live because don't have nothing to do. All stops, all stop, you know. Uh, until now, we don't have uh, live shows and maybe, maybe uh, after October, November, start small gigs here and that step by step, we're going to normal. But uh, I'll stop it, man. Oh, oh, we try to, to work in the some releases in digital release. I release a, a compilation with uh, surf music against the fascism here in Brazil with a lot of surf bands with uh, red, you no, know, really nice. Uh, but no gigs, you know? But now, thinking about the next year and maybe the, the thing is going better next year, we already work in the lineup for the Psycho Carnival next year, in February next year, uh, looking for, for the future, you know? Trying to organize the things for the next year and going back, you know? With Mullet Monster Mafia, we go to Europe in end March, in March and we will play until May there. We will play. We oh, wow. Have, have, uh, we already have a 35 gigs booked there. Wow. Yes, 35 already booked. The plan is making 42. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. After this, uh, we were touring with the 66 Sinners also in Europe in May and back home in June. In August, I'm going back to Europe with the Frenetic Trio. In October, I have my other festival here in Brazil, the Look Friends Rodeo. It's like a, um, a motorcycle event with a stage with a lot of people, like 18,000, 20,000 people in the 70s. It's a cool, cool party. Awesome. Tell, tell me about um, the festivals. What can, besides the music from all over the world, tell me about what. What are the, some of the activities people could do other than listening to music? Uh, man, in, the, in the festivals here, uh, the Psycho Carnival organized with Vlad, who played with me with the 66ers. We have a radio show in Curitiba. Uh, really, really nice radio show in the most bigger radio is there. And play a lot of rockabilly, psychobilly, surf music and, and this radio show. And Vlad organized this festival with me at 20 years, you know. Uh, the organization there, Psycho Carnival is, is really crazy because it's five days, six bands a day. It's like a 30 bands festival. And the, the crew is like me, Vlad and two guys more only. You know, we organize wow. all, yeah. It's really a lot of a lot of work, but it's, it's it's really nice. Also, we make the the psycho attack, psycho attack festival is like another festival with uh, psycho beat bands. We make a uh, one time a year. It's for 500, 700 people. We have the psycho Billy fest too. Normally two days, and have the, this one we are make here in the countryside of São Paulo. It's called a Lucky Friends Rodeo Motorcycle. We make uh, together with uh, Luke Friends Motorcycle Club from there. It's like a um, Harley Davidson race in the in the ground. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah, it's really freak. 
and have a, a circle stand when I have the tent there. And normally it's two days of uh, eight, nine bands a day. We bring the, the Batmobile right there, the King Salaman in Cumberland tree, uh, the caravans, uh, super suckers, a lot of bands are also play there, you know, and this guy is more, more, uh, it's more harder to organize because it's big, it's a big fest, so like 18,000 people, 20,000 wow. people, it's, it's big, this is it's more hard to organize, but every year we organize this in October, you know. Very cool. Um, well, I'm going to let you go now. But it, before we go, uh, I want to ask you if there's anything you wanted to talk about, promote. Um, you want to talk about the new release of your Inferno album? Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to say before uh, we sign off? Um, Inferno, we recorded in 2019, releasing in Europe with uh, Crazy Law Records there in vinyl, uh, 500 copies in Europe. And after this, we talk uh, with Noah from Otitis Media Records from, from Texas. And he make this, this press in the United States. I, I don't have this press yet. Huh? God, <laughs> so I never saw this one. <laughs> yeah, we make that? a different artwork. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's kind of like a orange marble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking Man, cool, he man. sent some of these for my <laughs> store, but I had to keep one. It's so awesome. <laughs> uh, really nice, man. And this album, especially, is I have a I love this record because the Mullet Monster Mafia have a 12 years old, and this is our first full album. You put out because a lot of EPs, really, right? Yes, yes, only EPs and splits. We have a, one album with a seven songs, eight songs, but never release a, a full album. You know, when you make a 10 years band, we talk, no, now is the time to record an, an album yeah. and create a, a concept about this. Uh, we try to make a, a concept, you know, if you think, uh, have the, the, the intro of the album, you hear the, the devil's flying, yeah. the ocean, <laughs> like like the the tempest coming, you know the storm is coming. Yeah, this with the surfing demons, and all the things going going in the album and closing with the inferno is like the Armageddon. You yeah, know, like totally. the, the finish it. It's like a conceptual instrumental album. You That's know? awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Who, who, who's some of the bands you did splits with? What? Uh, who are some of the bands that you did splits with? Uh, we split with the the Spellbound. We split okay. the, the this one, this one. Uh, very this cool. With a Spellbound from Ireland, you know. And is it split album? It's only this one. Ah, you have another one. It's a four way split album. With uh, a band from England, one Italy, and another one from France. It's a retro gaming album. It's like a conceptual instrumental album only about old games. Ah. Yeah. We recorded a version from a song from the old Atari. Yeah. Game, you know, the Draconos. We recorded this song. Is this released in Europe in. in Vinyl 10 inch. Very cool. It's very, very really nice too. It's very, I, very I, cool. I love very 10 cool. inches because they're kind of unique. There's not a lot of people doing them. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool because this kind of record don't in the past uh, the the labels making a lot of these records, you know, like uh, albums with uh, concept albums, you know. Actually don't have too much this, you know, and you think about that, why not? Let, yeah. Let's do it, you know. Awesome. It's cool to see how you're you're just open to just doing whatever comes to your head without putting too much thought into it. You know, just let's do it. Yeah, yeah. All the time we we're thinking about 
make things, you know, try to make something different all the time and keep the, the name of the bands all the time running, you know? Yeah. On tour or yeah. now we can make something different on the artworks all the time, trying to make something different, you know? Like uh, with Noah from Otitis Records, we talk a lot about the album and he told me, man, it's, it's, it's nice because it's, the concept is really cool, it's really different, you know? On a release, yeah. Moving on, release it, and I don't. I only need. We only need a few copies, you know. <laughs> yeah. Make it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much, Denny. Um, I really enjoyed talking to you. Uh, we, had, we covered so much ground. You're so such a busy guy. Uh, I thank you for your time, and uh, I really hope your tour goes well. I hope you get those forty-two dates, and. Um, I hope you get your festival underway next year so uh, everybody can come down to Brazil and hear all the great bands, 60 some bands that you have down there just on the yeah. CDs. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to thank you. And I had a blast talking to you. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's a big pleasure to talk with you. Also, also your band's really nice, man. It's really, really nice, really nice. The Down Division. You know them? Yeah, yeah. I know because the, the bass player of my band, Neto, the, the bass player of the, the Mood Monster Mafia, have a poppy punk band too. Oh, yeah? You know? And we talk a lot. And when, when you talk about the interview, and I talk, hey, I think Ryan also playing a band. It's a, it's a band from, it's not a new band. He's come from now for the old times. And yeah, really, really. And we talk, talk. Fucking hell, really? This guy play guitar at the, at the Down Division? I thought, yeah, 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 you know? Well, that's so crazy. You. How the yeah, hell does yeah, he yeah. know about us? Yeah, we're rats, man. We're rats for the music. <laughs> oh, my God. Boy, that's that's great. You know, uh, you remember Epitaph Records used to have a website with the forums? When I was uh -huh. in that, when I was in that band, uh, in the 90s, uh, the late 90s, I used to go on there and say, send me your address and I'll send you one of our CDs. And I, I no charge. I sent the 20 song CD all over the world. So maybe that's how he got a hold of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe from them. Yeah. But I, I sent them anywhere. I, Neto really loved, Neto really loved this kind of band. You know, have a tattoo from the Satanic Surfers. Yeah. Have a tattoo yeah. from Down by Law. You know, oh, I love Down by Law. Yeah. Uh, well, that's really great to hear because, um, in August, uh, Down Division is going to record 20 some new songs or something like that. Whoa, new stuff, yeah. Whoa, hey man, and you're invited to come to Brazil to the festivals or for touring here. I would love huh? that, man. I would, you know, yeah. I, I'm very much a touristy guy, so I would love to see everything down there. Uh, yeah. Just, it's, just it's to really visit cool, man. Great. It's really cool. That's yeah. awesome. It's really cool. All the events that come here, it's a lot of fun, you know, a lot of good food, good weather, party, you know, it's really cool. Really nice place. If it if it has to do with food, it's then I'm right totally in. It'd be a pleasure to see you here. When you mention food, oh, uh, man. <laughs> you're getting crazy here in the food, man. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, yes, Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. We keep in touch. Let's try yeah, to make something together. 